Yo, 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 yo. It's the Good Life Podcast, the kickback. It's your boy, Good Life Russ. Shout out to everybody out there at home watching and listening. Uh, I just like to thank y'all as I do every episode for listening, for tuning in, subscribing, sharing. You know, the show wouldn't be a show without the viewership. So I appreciate that. And do me the biggest favor and make sure y'all keep these conversations going. These are conversations to spark intelligent conversation, intelligent dialogue, you know what I mean? And getting to know each other in a healthy manner. So I am Good Life for Us. I'm the host. You can find me on Amazon, on, on Google, on Facebook, on all the social medias. Make sure y'all follow me. Make sure y'all share this show. And we're going to get the word out of there. I have a new guest today. I'm very excited. I love when new people come through the show. We can sit down and have some healthy, intelligent conversation. How you doing, brother? Man, amazing, man. It's a beautiful day outside already, man. I've been ripping and running since about like 9 30 a.m., man. Oh, I love that. I love that. So we getting in the thick of it. So uh tell the people at home who you are, how where they can find you. Man, I'm Austin Burroughs, owner of Paragon Designs LLC. Y'all can find me on Facebook and Instagram at Paragon Designs LLC 2018. Yeah, man. Yes, sir. Tap in, tap in. Yeah. We serving the people. You know, you already know what we do, man. And that's and that's what I love every day. I love waking up and being able to do my craft and my craft reach people and it affect mm-hmm. people. You know what I mean? Yes, sir. That's a beautiful thing. So, how did you get into design? And can you tell people about the business? What you do? Man, for real, for real. I uh I kind of started dibbling and dabbling way back in middle school, man. Um I got into it making school spirit necklaces that, okay. you know, kind of just helped me buy football equipment. You know, football was my main thing growing up, you know what I'm saying? So it was everything football. So if I could help get them um them 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 hundred dollar pair of cleats or whatever I was trying to get, you know, that that helped me do it. You know, I kind of came off, you know, life happened. I came off the trade a little bit. Then, you know, one day I was looking for something to keep my idle mind busy so i kind of circled right back to it and i guess after that you know the 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 gemstones and the crystals really just started speaking to me so i started fashioning jewelry again really just to keep myself busy then after a while people was like hey man you selling them joints i was like nah not really but i mean i can so you know that's how i kind of really started taking it serious. I had to buy like a 30th person like, bro, man, you need to start selling these. And I started taking it serious and uh, actually went ahead and started the business legally. And, you know, 2018 is when I started and, you know, kind of just been jumping off from there. That's excellent, man. Congratulations. Congratulations. Huge. So do you use the crystals? I know you said they were speaking to you. So do you use them in your personal life? Yeah, man. Actually, look, see, I'm, I'm working on a new joint right now. You can see that little, uh, it's a little pen and I just took off the, uh, the cheering spot. Um, man, I keep them on me. I wear them like, look, you see, you see, you see, you know, I'm dripping the out state today. So, um, yes, you know, I, I keep, I keep the crystals on me, man. Always, you know, whenever I, whenever I don't have them on me, man, it's like, I feel naked, man. I feel, I feel vulnerable. So, you know, I always keep something on me, whether it's just a bracelet or, you know, a necklace or whatever, just to um, just to kind of keep my energy level stable and balanced. Whatever I'm trying to feel that day, you know, just try to enhance my aura. You feel me? And it's just like ever since I started learning about the energies that's generated from these gemstones and crystals, you know, I kind of I just I've been addicted, man. I can't stop. And I feel the difference when I don't wear them. So I keep something handy always. Yeah, yeah, the same. I'm glad a lot more people are getting into it, but getting into it intentionally. Yeah. yeah. And that's what's up. I mean, this this is what this is what our ancestors did. You know, you can't you can't look you can't go back to the Kemet or anywhere and you don't see gemstones fashioned into the jewelry in some way, shape, or form. You know, most of us we kind of got half of it messed up. You know, we we started wearing the gold and the silver and, and the platinum and all that, but you know, you have to have the metal and the gemstones if you want to create the kind of aura 
that you need to really amplify the energy of the crystals to protect yourself. So you, you really, you really can't have one without the other. And I'm, I'm real ecstatic to see people starting to come back, return to their roots and get back to the ancient practices, man. It's, 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 it's really great, especially in our community, because, you know, we, we began this, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, seeing, seeing my people like, Hey man, these crystals is calling me, bro. I need to, I need to do something with this, that, and the third. And I'm like, man, I'm, I'm happy to assist y'all because this is what's really going to keep you grounded and stable and level. You know what I mean? It, it, they, they help with a wide variety of ailments and situations and they just create so much clarity and creativity and do so many things for the people. It's like, why not, man? You, you, you go drop like, 20,000, 50,000, you know what I'm saying, on, on the gold and diamonds, but bro, them, where them diamonds coming from, ain't nothing but negative energy in them, and you don't even, you don't even know, we don't even know how to clear them out, the, the, the put the positive energy to really be able to nurture yourself, like diamonds, they're, they're, they're a crystal too, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, don't get it twisted, they are a crystal, you know what I mean, but given the nature that they're curated and, and procured, you know, it's 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 a lot of evil practices out there to get them diamonds. You know what I'm saying? Like just just think about this. Our ancestors used to just throw them on the street and let the kids play with them, man. They, these these wasn't stuff that we were selling to to one another for real, for real. They like y'all know you heard the stories of El Dorado and all that. Mm-hmm. The, the, the the crystals and gemstones would like they, they they just flow from the mines and the caves and was just in the like streets was literally made out of crystals and gemstones and they gave them the kids to play with you know what i mean it, this, this wasn't nothing you know scarcity and all that that wasn't, that wasn't even a thing because we used them we used them to really just protect each other and mm. that was that was the main purpose of the gemstones and crystals our, our elders realized that they resonate certain energies and we just put them into practice and you know they used them for all kind of stuff whether it was rituals or meditation and even and even healing sessions they use the gemstones and crystals. So, you know, I'm 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 like tell you right now, if you if you feeling anxious or something and you get a piece of charged amethyst and you either carry it in your pocket or put it on you and you wear it, bro, you're gonna feel different, man. People try to mm-hmm. say this don't work, this don't you listen, man. You know, you don't understand how this thing works, man. They don't understand energy. So yeah. you know, just, just just get back to it, man. See yeah. what it do for you. And it works two ways. I think that's the importance of, you know, what you're talking about. I, for me, it feels like, you know, it fits into the laws of attraction, especially when mm-hmm. you think of things like diamonds and rubies. You know, mm-hmm. it, it's a lot of infatuation and attraction yeah. with it. You know, people want to take it off your neck. People want to, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? When you mm-hmm. got your crystals on, people feel better when they see them. Mm, I have I, people look at my pieces like, yo, <laughs> I didn't feel like they wanted to snatch it or nothing. You know what I mean? So yeah, but, but they but they but they want to touch it because you yeah. know when, when you when you get to a certain level, I mean you can you can see the energy radiating off of the crystals, especially if they charged and cleansed. I tell people all the time, man, don't don't just um don't just sit them in the sun and the in the moon, you know, put your intentions in it. What 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 kind of what kind of vibes do you want your crystals to give you? I mean, it, it's just it's just like it's just like speaking to your water. You know what I mean? The, these crystals and these stones, they're 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 living, breathing things just like we are. So that's why we're all connected. So if you want to amplify and enhance your energy, tell the crystal that's what you want it to do. And it and it'll do it. And it'll do it, man. You know, it, it, it's like it's like they give they give you the they give you the prayer beads. Most of those are made out of out of wood. They're they're a blessed wood. You know what I mean? But anything that was living or organic, you can put your intentions into it. They all carry energy. So I suggest, you know, just just get in there. And, and that's a small ritual in itself. You yeah. know, you get you, you get you you get your hands on some on some citrine. I, I recommend this for for all entrepreneurs or people that are interested in going to business for themselves to, 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 to grab green adventuring or the yellow citrine, put your intentions in it. Boom, boom my business. I, I want I want to be multi, I want to be multi-millionaire in the next three to five years. You know what I'm saying? Put your intentions in it. You know, when you get when you get real clear with the with the universe, the universe get real clear back with you. Mm-hmm. So put them intentions into them crystals, man, and and see what kind of edge that give you, man. It, it works, trust me. Otherwise, I wouldn't be sitting in the spot that I'm sitting in right now. That's a fact. That is a big fact. And I and I love that a lot of us are getting on our healing journey because the two mm-hmm. 
and like you were saying, you know, and we that's a hundred percent. We gotta start making things work for us. I think we work mm-hmm. so hard for everything else and we don't get that reciprocation. Real talk. Real you know, talk. So now we in this new day and age, you know, a lot of people I think one of the issues with my generation, with our community, is everyone looks at the end result. They want to mm-hmm. be where you are, but they don't mm-hmm. want to take the steps you took, you know. So at all. Can you shed, shed some light on how you got here spiritually. Man, it was just a uh it was just an awakening, man. I, I I remember it like it was yesterday. I'm um I'm, I'm getting dressed. As as a matter of fact, it was resurrection Sunday. Okay. And um you know, I'm getting ready to go to church and my big cuz hit me up. He said, we had, we just having a little conversation. And he said, bro, he said, why is Resurrection Sunday on a different day every year? Right. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, stop playing, man. Like, why, why you, why you going to wait? You just wake up on some mess. Right. <laughs> so I get in my calendar. Right. And I look back, I go back 10 years in my calendar and it's on a different day every year bro so you know it, it it stirred up some questions in my mind and you know first thing i did you know i, I went and talked to my pastor bro like for real for mm-hmm. i didn't know what else to do i'm like i'm confused at this point like mm-hmm. so i went and hollered at him and you know mentioned a couple of things i, I ain't gonna go into the whole conversation because it got real 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 fast you feel me um <laughs> but but the end result was you know i'm, I'm searching for answers and i wasn't gonna find them in the church you know what I'm saying? I just wasn't going to do it. So, you know, I started searching elsewhere. So I go back. I just went back. I just kept going back and kept going back and kept going back and kept going back. So, you know, about like 6,000 years, you know, I, I stumbled across, you know, the 42 laws of Mayotte, man. And I started um, reading those and I, I noticed some similarities and some differences like, oh, OK, yeah, uh huh. I see where that I see where the Ten Commandments came from. Mm-hmm. So, you know, once I went from there, a lot of things started making sense. So I had another conversation with my cousin because he, he, he like he'd been on a spiritual journey long before me. But he I guess he could sense that I was starting to see things for what they were. Mm-hmm. And um, the next conversation we had, man, just took me to a whole nother platform. I remember he told me, he said, uh, he said, is it cloudy where you at? And I said, no, nah, not really. I said, but I got a headache. That's why I'm inside. So he told me, go outside. He said, look, man, just, just look at the sun for like 10, 15 seconds, bro. So I'm like, for what, man? I ain't trying to go blind. He right. said, bro, just go outside and stare at the sun, man. Thank me later. And he hung up the phone. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, all right, whatever. You know, cuz ain't never staring me wrong. So I'm going to go ahead and do what he say. So I go outside and I look at the sun. Of course, you know, I'm, I'm blinking like crazy. The light is, mm-hmm. is, is killing my eyes a little bit, but it didn't. It wasn't painful. I thought it was going to hurt. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't painful at all. So, you know, I look for 10 seconds and I go back in the house. Right. And I noticed two things. My back was hurting. My back wouldn't hurt no more. I had a migraine. I didn't have a migraine no more. So I'm like, hold up, man. So I call Cuz back like, bruh. He said, yeah, he said that migraine gone now, ain't it? I said, man, you ain't never lie. He said, bruh, sun guys. He said that the, the best time to do it is during the sunrise and the sunset. So, you know, I wake up during the sunrise for about like three weeks, man. And, you know, I, I didn't understand that. You know, when you're when you're literally eating the sun, what the ancestors are doing for you is they're giving you downloads. Um, so I remember the dreams that I was having mm-hmm. after that week. And man, some of the revelations that I was having, they basically all the questions that I had about what I was reading in the Bible, man, was getting answered for me. You know, like where where are the 12 disciples? Uh, they're not really people. They're the 12 disciplines of the Zodiac. Um, why, why, why does a why does a Bible talk dirty about astrology when the Bible itself is just one big book of you witnessing celestial events like Christmas and Easter and all that? You know what I'm saying? So, mm-hmm. you know, a lot of the a lot of the questions that I had that I that I was really not really afraid to answer to ask my 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 church goers. I just knew that they didn't really know. You know what I mean? So, yeah. you know, I don't name name nothing against. Folk that go to church, man. Right, I love right. all of y'all. I love all of y'all. But in my honest opinion, when you read in a story and you figure out that there are stories that are the same, that are thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of years 
prior to that. Naturally, I'm going to flock to the story that's older because it was there first. So I right. began studying that. And, you know, he told me when you read the Bible, don't read it objectively or subjectively, read it objectively. And when you hear son of man, because that was a term that never made sense to me, son of man, what you mean, son of man? Jesus wasn't born of no man. You know what I'm saying? He said, replace S. O N with S U N and a lot of stuff will make sense to you then. So when I started doing that, I'm like, oh, I'm, just, I'm having so many light bulbs and aha moments. I'm like, I basically reread the Bible again. I was like the eighth time I reread, I read the Bible. So I'm just like, oh my God, bro. Like all of this stuff is starting to make so much sense now. And then I kind of the conclusion that, okay, well, yeah, this stuff is making sense. But at the same time, you know, we, we still have over half of the story that's missing. So right. That's why that's why it, it it basically creates a kind of organized confusion, which leads to chaos. People are able to, you know, twist the words to their benefit because you ain't got half the story. So if I right. if you have the other half of the story, there's no way you can manipulate the word of God just to your benefit because you have all the missing pieces now. So it don't make sense for somebody to be it's not going to make sense for somebody to be able to do that. So, you know, coming out of that, you know, I, I really I really just went back to Kim and, you know, you know, it really what really opened it up for me, though. I, like, I'm going to share this with everybody because everybody I feel like everybody should watch this at least one once once in your lifetime. The, uh, you, you familiar with the Hidden Color series? I've heard of it. Yeah, Bruh, I'm telling you, watch it. It ain't nothing but black excellence in there, bro. You know what I'm saying? Brother Tariq basically gathered a bunch of black historians man and they really lay out our history not just the history but solutions to some of the problems too you know what i'm saying i mean they lay it out they lay it out out and i just remember i'm watching it with, uh, with my girl at the time and i'm just like i'm i'm flabbergasted bro i'm like i'm i'm so geek because you know when you are able to discern your spirit you know when you're hearing a bunch of bs and you know when you're hearing the truth. So that was one of the greatest gifts Pastor Forbes ever gave me was he taught me. I learned through him how to discern my spirit. Um, so, yeah, that's why I will never discourage people to go to church because, yeah. you know, you got you to start. You got to start somewhere, man. And it's, and it's organized. It allows you to, to climb but not climb too fast to where you end up confusing yourself and you fall off and drop on your head. You know what I'm saying? So, mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's, they're, 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 they're ordered steps. I know y'all familiar with that ordered mm -hmm. steps. So um, it was just a, a beautiful thing. I'm, 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 I'm hearing this history and, uh, and I'm, I'm just like, I feel like I'm getting wrapped up in a, in a heated blanket by my mom when I'm a little kid, you know what I'm saying? Watching this and, you know, my wife is looking at it and she's like, She's just like staring in disbelief, like there's no way we created all of this stuff. Like she was, she was just in doubt and doubt and doubt. And I'm just like, nah, this is real. This is true. I'll, I'll, pro I'll promise you. And then you can look up everything. You can research everything that they gave you. And it's fact. It's pure fact. So I never, I never felt such a sense of pride in, in, in my people. I never felt more connected to my roots than when I'm figuring out that we basically created everything bro mm -hmm. everything, mm -hmm. man there, 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 there there's nothing there's nothing there's no technology or nothing that was built that exists that we didn't have our hands in it first so you know having that sense of pride and being able to recognize that this is this this is where it all began you you, you don't have no choice but to carry yourself different you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You, you don't have no choice but to think different. You don't have no choice but to act different. So I'm like, that's why I like to share it with as many people as I can, because I feel like some of the reasons why we don't get it, we're not getting it together now is because you don't have that sense of history. You don't have that pride in your people. Yeah. You don't have that yeah. respect for yourself and your people without knowing. Yeah, man, this is this is what my ancestors did. So this is the direction that I'm going to keep it going. You know, you, my uncle used to always tell me something when I was little. He said, you know, it's hard to know where you're going if you don't know where you came from. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? How many of us don't know where we came from? Right. How, 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 how hard, how, how many obstacles do we have in our way to figure out where we really came from? 
as opposed to anybody else. They 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 they've hidden our history. They've appropriated our culture at just about all costs. So we can't figure out who we really are. You know what I mean? And is it look look at look at look at what we look at what we dealing with now. That's that's the direct result of all that not being able to know or trace your roots all the way back to where it all began for you and your family. You know what I'm saying? We don't we don't know what we used to eat. We don't know who we used to worship and praise. We we don't we don't know nature. You know what I mean? I mean even not to not to not to reference you know a a, a, a madman, but Charles Manson even said in the jungle the black man was king. Mm-hmm. Even he said that. Even he recognized that when we got taken from our natural environment, <clears throat> we were basically made to be subjects. Mm-hmm. So. Throughout history, we've been subjugated just about every turn of the century. But in the beginning, you know, the the architecture, the the the, the math, the science, the, the 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 high science, the knowledge of the high sciences, which you know is now spread amongst the occult. You know that, bro. That all yeah. came from us, man. That all came. That all came from our Moorish ancestors, man. So yeah. you know, even to this day, right now, we identify as black people that's because we don't know who we are you would never identify as a color mm-hmm. you, 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 you look at a black crayon and look at you right don't work like that you know what i'm saying they so to, i think that was a part of the programming you know they had to mm-hmm. they had to downsize us they had mm-hmm. to shrink you know like they did the map and then mm-hmm. that just cascaded into what we have today. It's, it's what I feel like is the line between religion and spirituality. Mm-hmm. Spirituality is empowering. Religion wants you fearful. Like, mm-hmm. it, it needs you afraid. Mm-hmm. And that's what we're living in. But I think that is another way how they underestimated us. And I think that's mm-hmm. the biggest lesson we have to learn. Like, all that information is in our DNA. Like, we just got to activate it. Exactly. We never needed a book. We, mm-hmm. we never we, we never, we never needed corrupt emperors and corrupt leaders to to give us a book saying this is what God said. We were made in God's image. So it's it's naturally imprinted into our DNA. So you know what's right. You know what's wrong innately. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, unfortunately, through through upbringing and, you know, societal norms and things of this nature, it kind of takes you away from your from your pure essence. You know what I mean, and that's Absolutely. that's what we're suffering from right now. That's what we've been suffering. Oh, yeah. We're we're living of the flesh, mm-hmm. and back then they didn't have all these diseases and problems because they lived of the spirit. So the body mm-hmm. wasn't being poisoned and tormented and and exhausted. You know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. they were spiritual beings, and we started living so much on convenience. You know what I mean? But I think it, mm-hmm. it fits into our who we are as people. Like we're kind, loving, compassionate people. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? We're going to give, 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 even when we're being taken from. Exactly. It just shows how godly we are. Mm-hmm. And a lot of people can't recognize that in themselves. It's it's the one thing I feel like religion stripped from everybody. It separated mm-hmm. the spirit and the body. Real so now people are just completely living of the flesh. They don't even feed their spirit at all. Mm-hmm. So at all. like the sermon was the best word for it. Because you can't even tell now when someone's talking to your spirit versus when they're addressing you. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And mm-hmm. I've always been a skeptic as a kid. So I always got wow. to hear what somebody said. Like, what what you say? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, but it's not even sound right, to the ear, but my soul ain't like what you mm-hmm. saying. Like, what you mm-hmm. saying? I mean, it's, it's, it's especially, especially, I mean, think about us in school. And I, I was having this conversation with my little brother the other day. I said, dog, look, you know, when we was in class and we was kind of wilding out, right? I said, think about what was going on in the classroom. What, what, what was we learning? Stuff that we didn't connect to or relate to. We, 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 we knew, we knew it was BS. Yeah. So innately instinctively we kind of just started acting out like we don't want to learn about this because you lying to us to begin with and i said i said this i said you know that that brief week in history class when we learned about africa (laughs) would you was you making the connection that these were your people no this is your history no no not at all you know saying when we I, i mean now i understand now i understand now that you know, 95% of the slaves was already in the Americas. They didn't make right. it from Africa. Right. Right. Um, so naturally, 95% of us, our ancestry is here in America. 
Right. Um, so, you know, when you look at <clears throat> the Native Americans, were you making the connection that this is your history? No. Not at all. Not at all. So that means the education system works. It did exactly what it was supposed to do. When 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 Rockefeller designed the educational system, he designed it purposely to not create free thinkers. He created it to create wills for the car. They, he basically created to create workers. Exactly. You know what I mean? So that's why you really don't even learn the concepts or theories of critical thinking until you're in college. Mm-hmm. Where you have more contributions from foreign countries than domestic people, mm-hmm. even former alumni, where they're basically paying to miseducate you. I mean, look at yeah. where we stand right now. You know what I mean? We, bro, we, we, we falling off, man. Scary, we falling off. But what? Yeah, but those new opportunities is what we need to propel us. That kind of shifted my spiritual journey you know like i had things happen in the church i witnessed and i was i was a little cool and then you know i ended up losing my son so it, it's different mm-hmm. when you pray every day at night and then something like that happens right and it makes sense of and you like mm-hmm. so who am i praying to if i'm still exactly. out here getting kicked around exactly and then the, the point you made is what happened with me in college because they can teach you anything mm-hmm. so the class that opened my eyes in college was an atheism course and I'm telling you, this dude Imagine broke. That. He broke religion. He went back to the Crusaders, like he broke religion down, and it just mm-hmm. it couldn't. It it no longer made any sense to me. Like I couldn't leave that class and feel how I felt prior to. Like he changed right. my whole way of thinking about religion. Right, that's real. I mean, that's real. It's, like I said, especially when you when you hearing things that make sense, like you know. People talk all day about conspiracy theory this, conspiracy theory that, but I'm looking at it like this. When I add the conspiracy theory up, two plus two comes out to four, dang, dang there, every single time. Yeah. But when I'm listening to the news, what are y'all talking about, man? So just understand understanding certain things. I I, I think, you know, the course in, in, in college that really that really got me on it for real, for real. Uh-huh. I, I took a poli sci course. Ooh. So the the particular the particular part, we had to do a research paper on branches of the government. Mm-hmm. So of course I chose the Federal Reserve. <laughs> I I have no idea what I was getting myself into, <laughs> I swear, man. But it's bro, I'm telling you, it took me about like two weeks to even find out who the chairman was. And I'm bro, I'm digging, I'm digging, I'm digging, I'm digging, I'm digging. I can't find out, I can't find out, I can't find out. At that point, it, it was just, it was a man, Alan Greenspan, at the pan when I was doing that. Mm. Um so you know, I follow I followed the pipeline, you know what I'm saying? And you know, it, it uh, basically followed the money and it took me it took it took me to the 13 families. Mm. Then I, I started I, I started learning about them people. I ain't gonna lie, I ain't gonna I ain't gonna go too deep. I ain't gonna go too deep. I ain't trying to get nobody shut down or nothing. You know what I'm saying? But basically all you really gotta do when you're trying to get to the bottom of something is 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 follow the money. Um, you know, my my humanities teacher. She told me she she reiterated this so many times. Um, wars are started for three reasons: money, land, and power. Mm-hmm. So basically, if you follow the money, you you know where it's happening at. You already know where it's happening at. You already know what the end result is. The people trying to win, but when you follow the money, it's it's going to turn you on to the people that's playing both sides the people that really initiated this thing to begin with and what the real, the real cause of that war really is. And nine times out of 10, it really ain't money, bro. Oh, it ain't the money. Really. It's the, it's the, it's the control. Really. It's the control. So yeah. I'm just like, you know, at some point we gotta, we gotta understand that they playing us like puppets. They using us as, as, as pawns. You know, you, you could, you could, you could be a, you could be a, a general a king in your community, but to them, you just a pawn. They just moving you around how they see fit. So the only way to really operate above that, you got to think about it. Like there's always to always say this right here. If the revolution started today mm-hmm. and we won it by the end of the week, over half of us would die off within six months. Absolutely. 
we we control no resources. We don't know how to operate the utilities. We don't know any of this. You know what I mean? So naturally, the people that don't know how to grow their own food, who don't know how to create ele- and generate electricity, the people that don't know how to control power, it's all going to fall to the wayside. So, you know, we talk about, oh, man, revolution, revolution. Yeah, yeah, we definitely in need of a re- revolution because this this can't. This can't continue. You know what I mean? But at the same time, we don't know how to reform or reconstruct the infrastructure that we're trying to destroy. You know, the the, the system itself, we reckon we're starting to recognize more and more now that it needs to be eradicated. It can't be changed. You can't, right, you know, you can't make there, there's nothing to fix. The the whole thing needs to be destroyed because of the way it was set up. And it was all set up based off of fear. You can't. You can't lead people into prosperity with systems that were created out of fear. That's that fear is the lowest vibration you can operate on. Yeah. That's why when you see the news, 95 percent of the news is negative. And then what do they do to try to brighten it up? They show you cute little animal pictures <laughs> for like two minutes, not even long. <laughs> OK, so back what to I, the car accidents and the homicide. Exactly. So for our community in particular. <laughs> Forgive me for being frank. We don't care about them dogs. We don't care about them animals in the zoo. Oh, yeah, yeah. You, you, can, you, you, you pull them animals from the wild and then lock them up in a cage. Mm-hmm. Just like y'all did us. You think we relate to that? No. And they say, well, you know, go go vote. You know, do 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 Democrat. Da, 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 da. I said, listen, bro, let me let me tell you about these. It's it's a two-headed snake. I'm going to just point that out. It's a two-headed snake. It don't matter whether you go Republican. It don't matter whether you vote Democrat. Don't none of them, them, don't none of them politicians care about they you. They the same people. They be switching sides. On top. On they top. the same. Hey, and my trust, my trust in all this shit was hurt as a kid, man. Because I, oh, yeah. I, I was a snacker as a kid. You know what I mean? When I found out mm-hmm. when I found out Cheetos and Doritos was owned by the same company, like, <laughs> That fucked me up. That fucked my childhood up because I thought they was beefing for years. Right. And I'm like, wait, the same person owned both. Y'all got us fighting over this shit. And y'all get all the money. Like, oh, they they got us in deep to this programming. And we like, I think you hit the nail on the head. People are too afraid to fight back because they mm-hmm. realize what's going to come next. But I think that's the revolution. Like, we should be fighting. We should be fighting an internal revolution. People got to start yeah. building themselves up. This is how the government's been working. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, everything you mm-hmm. say is on point. Like, nothing about the system is broken. It was designed to work. It could be that way. way. Exactly. It's running optimal. It's running beautifully for them. You exactly know what, I mean? what it's supposed to do. The problem is with us, we don't do what we're supposed to do spiritually. So when we're mm-hmm. out here causing chaos, all they're doing is holding that over our head and making mm-hmm. us do what they want us to do. You know what I mean? I think about mm-hmm. like the Fred Sanfords, like all the people who were assassinated. They mm-hmm. found some black guy who was down on his luck, who broke the law, and they like, look, you either going to go to jail or you about to go do what we told you to do. And mm-hmm. they're so afraid of jail, you know what I mean? They're going to do it. So the best yeah. thing we can do is find, fall in love with ourselves, get to know ourselves. Yes. When we start moving godly, like people pick up on your aura. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You actually have to proclaim less and tell less because they can already feel it on you. You become Mm -hmm. of what you're trying to project. You know Mm -hmm. what I mean? These these are so many lessons we had as children. You know what I mean? This was Mm -hmm. a lesson I was trying to learn. Like, I was always this boy asking, like, man, I need I need this man in my life. I need this hero. I need this knight. I need you dig. And then when I got older, you I are realized, him. like, you have to be that hero. You are him. can't wait for somebody mm-hmm. else to come save the day. Like, mm-hmm. you exactly. bring in the action for yourself. Exactly. And I and I feel like that's uh that's one of the biggest ways that religion has kept us in a box is because they got you sitting here waiting for Jesus to come back. Mm-hmm. You know, you not put in and like I, I'm gonna go to the I'm gonna go to my favorite contradiction in the Bible. <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm. So while we're waiting on the Savior to come back and save us, right? The Bible is telling you faith without works is dead. Mm. So so many people read the Bible, but they don't be in their word. There's a difference between reading the Bible and being in your word. Facts. This this is stuff I meditate over day and night. The, the word, you know what I'm saying? And just like me, look, 
if I if, if, if I want to start an argument with my little brother, this this is what I always tell him. I said, you a child of God, right? Mm-hmm. And he said, yeah, you God's son, right? He said, yeah. So I said, don't that make you a God? Ooh. And he said, no. And I said, okay, look. <laughs> <laughs> I said, Jesus, Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior, right? And you say, right. And I said, when you read the Bible, the red lettering, that's Jesus speaking, right? He said, right. I said, do you believe Jesus is telling you lies? He said, no, it's the absolute truth. Okay, so when Jesus Christ said, ye are gods, why you didn't believe him? Then he just kind of looks at me with this puzzled look every time. I, 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 look, I throw him off his rocks at least like once every couple of weeks. I throw him off his rocks every <laughs> just because like I'm, I'm trying I'm trying to I'm trying to get you to see something that, yeah. you know, we were we were created in God's image. And you can't proclaim to be a child of God and not have imbibed any of God's characteristics or capabilities, mm-hmm. especially when Jesus is telling you you are all capable of all the miracles and you have all the gifts that I have. So where where was your minds at when he was telling you this? When when he was telling you with, with, with faith the size of a mustard seed, you can move a mountain. Where where was your mind at when you was reading this? You know what I mean? Oh, this make believe. Okay. So so now all of a sudden when somebody tells you about all the gifts that you're that and all the potential that you have, now they lying to you. Now they lying to you. I mean, we go a little bit deeper than that. Mm-hmm. When the when the um when the Christians came to Africa and was given and was given the Bibles to the to the African people, these people didn't even believe you had souls. Mm. This this is a fact that we like to overlook mm-hmm. constantly. So they give you this book telling you this book is the key to saving your soul. But they didn't believe you had souls. So imagine, imagine, imagine when they figured out, when they figured out the opposite is the truth. Imagine that. Now you start to see why things like psychology was developed. You see, you see systems like the banking system, basically white supremacy as a whole. You see why systems like that were created Mm -hmm. because they know the truth. They know it. You don't. Unfortunately, you should. Right. But they don't need people to know. They need them to follow. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So, you know, it's it's, it's a thing of, you know, once you get to the point where you just refuse to accept things as they are, Mm -hmm. you'll start moving a little bit different. I honestly believe that we don't we ain't had enough yet. We right. ain't had to move yet. So, you know, now this whole thing is a bait and switch because, you know, the 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 jump off of us seeing all these unarmed black men being massacred by the people that are supposed to protect us. You know, they had one thing in mind when they started showing that on the news so prevalently. There's a war. You know, this next war is not going to be us fighting another country. It's going to be a civil war. Mm-hmm. I tell you that because it's going to be mainly us against us, and then us against them. Yep. Okay. So I just said this recently. So basically, the whole concept behind them showing these images and, and these happenings is basically to jump off a race war. The mm-hmm. end goal, the end goal behind the race war, is for the U.S. government to declare martial law. Now, mm-hmm. under martial law. I don't know if you know anything about the deep state. Yeah. Um, But under martial law, they can pretty much pull off whatever they want to pull off. And it's legal because the states are under martial law. So, you know, it comes to a point where we just got to be smarter than that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. The the concept, the thing that gives me the most confidence and, and, and keeps my faith richer than Ethiopian soil is that I understand what the enemy is truly at war with. And it's not really just us. Mm -hmm. Honestly, they're at war with nature. Mm 
Mm -hmm. Because the very thing that empowers us kills them. Takes their life away, yeah. (laughs) So, you know, the war with nature and and the natural people, you know, we know this. Nature always wins. Oh, always. It only needs a small part of itself to to recreate itself. Mm-hmm. That's why it never lose. And, and, and everything you said hits the nail on the head. You know what I mean? I think it's why there's so many conspiracy theories. Because if you mm-hmm. see how the law works, they can arrest you with less evidence that we have that aliens exist. Exactly. <laughs> like, <laughs> and call you crazy for believing in aliens in jail. And they don't even mm-hmm. got no evidence. Like, right. Right. I mean, the same with religion. Like, there's not much evidence. It's all faith. You know, so if I'm going to have that much faith, I'm going to put it in myself. I'm going to put it towards what I'm trying to do. And as we are now rebuilding, that that's why they separated us from nature, because that's Mm -hmm. what what our connection is to. You know Mm -hmm. what I mean? Like, I live a lot of my human life based on things I've learned in the animal kingdom, like things Mm -hmm. I watch animals naturally do. Mm-hmm. And a part of that that came from somewhere you know i don't mm-hmm. believe anything's random i don't believe it no. at no. all you know what i mean so it's all divide and conquer they need a race war because the 60s 70s and 80s this same thing was happening you know malcolm x used to talk about this on television he's like the police are literally built for intimidation mm-hmm. he's like i see y'all on the street corner pulling over a black man for a speeding ticket y'all got 20 cop cars out exactly there. Why, exactly. Would you, why would you need to do that unless you're trying to intimidate the whole area? Community. Well, I mean, you got to think about it. I mean, the, the 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 first police were slave catchers. Right. They still wear the same badge, basically, as the slave catchers. Yeah. So what what do you what do you do if you want to keep your slaves in line? You send law enforcement. Mm-hmm. Which is just a higher gun. They don't even really mm-hmm. have any loyalty except for who's paying them. Exactly. It was the same with slavery. Like they mm-hmm. used to ask them about it. They didn't feel this way or nothing, but they like shit, it pay the bills. You know exactly. what I mean? Like they make sure my family eats. So exactly. I'm gonna go manage this plantation. Exactly. Just same like with the Nazis. These was oh regular people Hitler was mm-hmm. recruiting. These was bakers and doctors mm-hmm. and vets. <laughs> mm-hmm. And, and, <laughs> and then, now you, know, you just hate people, like hold right. on. And that's what messed me up about Hitler. Hitler himself was Jewish. So you just wouldn't exterminate your people for what? But you know, when when you when you when you dug a little bit deeper, you found out what he was really after, and it didn't have nothing to do with that. That that that, that genocide was just a face yeah. of what was going on. It, what he was doing was was way deep. He he was he was heavy into the occult studies, which is where oh, man, which is which is where our knowledge has left to is all all of that knowledge, all of that power. Is all in the cult studies. They, they, Have they, you seen the show? Um, it's called Hunters with Al Pacino. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. that's that's what I started looking into even before I had seen that show because I got a psychology background. You know what okay. I mean? Like I, I'm on the autistic spectrum, so that okay. had me when I was young just studying and trying to make sense of things. Mm-hmm. So I had looked at that because it just it didn't make sense in psychology. A lot of the studies they did, I'm like, this is borderline inhumane. It and is. then I dig a little deeper and find out most of these were Nazi doctors and scientists. They were literally getting their research from Germany, mm-hmm. the same practices they start doing in America. Mm-hmm. They're starving people to death. So now they're mm-hmm. like, oh, well, we can starve you for this amount of time, but can't go mm-hmm. over. So they exactly. were literally trying to immobilize the whole world for a takeover. But mm-hmm. like you said, nature is always going to win. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? He, his biggest op was nature. Was trying to right. travel through them forests, mm-hmm. <laughs> trying to get to these cities. Nature mm-hmm. like, nah, blizzard, please. Right, real talk. <laughs> <few of> <laughs> he, he, was, he was trying to he was trying to get that holy grill. That's that's yeah. that's, that's what Hitler was after, for real, for real. Um, and it, it like the rabbit hole goes so deep, man. But at the end, at the end of it all, you know, all that all that knowledge of the higher the higher sciences. And the manipulation of energy, alchemy, all of that, you know, that, that came that came from our um, benevolent West African Moors. You know what I'm saying? They now now what what that what that knowledge has been break, broken off into, you know, what, what what we call, you know, secret societies and things of that right, nature. Right, right. So I, I ain't even going I ain't even going to tap into that because I have you I have you online for the rest of your life. But um, <laughs> <laughs> but. You know, it's, 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 it's the tip of the iceberg. And like I said, if you 
you know, you want to you wanna know the root to the problem of, man, really all you got to do is follow the money. You know what I'm saying? These same, these same people control the world. You know, why, 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 do, why, do five, why do five families of international bankers control all the money in the world? You know what I mean? Why, why, why do the 99% allow themselves to be subjugated and ruled over by the 1%? You know what I mean? Um, an interesting statistic that I came across right before I really, this is what motivated me to really go into business for myself. Mm-hmm. that 95% of the population work. And unfortunately, I'm still part of that 95% because I still work a full-time job too. Mm-hmm. Um, but the wealth of the world is controlled by the 5% of business owners. So that told me that I needed to do something to kind of tip that scale in my favor a little bit. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? So slowly but surely, I, I worked on, ways to make myself an entrepreneur so that way you know i can leave myself in the financial freedom and i figured if i could do it i'm certainly not the brightest bulb in the pack then anybody can do it you know what i mean you, you don't you don't have to be you don't have to have 161 iq you just have to have a dream and the, and the desire to carry it out. You know what I mean? I, I ask people this all the time and the, the answers that I, I get among my people really break my heart. You know what I mean? But I continue to ask this question that, that hopefully somebody's outlook changes. Where do you see yourself in the next three to five years? Mm-hmm. And the predominant answer that I got from my community was, I'll just be glad to be alive. Mm. you know it's real so i'm like damn son like i mm-hmm. i'll never really put it in them terms you know because me growing up i just man listen i ain't give up yeah same. <laughs> you know what i mean so it, 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 it is whatever for the cheddar you know what i'm saying growing up yeah. so you know once once we get to a point where you know we we grow up under under this under this pressure you know we're we're convinced that we're going to be star athletes and musicians and rock stars and things that is nature and you know wh- whatever age you realize that that really ain't gonna happen for you it, it do it do something to you i don't care yeah. who you are it don't matter how big or how small it do something to you something in your brain click and you like okay so what am i gonna do to feed myself and my family so yeah. we come up with the dumbest ways because we young and you know we we didn't have a lot of us don't have some 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 older some og be like yo man okay i see you out here doing your thing why don't you take like 15 25 percent of that money invest it in stock you know invest in the money market get you get you some cds and some bonds and things of that nature we don't we didn't have people telling us that right i told you i told my cousin i said bro if we had to put up 10 percent of the money that we made while we was out here young and dumb you know we'd be multi-millionaires by now yeah, and it was like, what you mean? I said, you remember when? Uh, you remember when our guy came back to us in like 2008 and said, "Man, take like five bands and put it in Bitcoin," and we ain't listening. And now we both mad because he, <laughs> look, 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 little bro, little bro, little bro, filthy rich. He filthy rich off Bitcoin. You know what I'm Ooh. saying? So I'm like, bro, if I had to took five grand, took that five grand and put it in Bitcoin, in when it was a dollar a coin, bro. Oh Lord, have mercy. Yeah. Man, things would be. I'll be sitting in a different seat right now, but different. you know, everything, everything has a season, you know what I'm saying? I, yeah. I, I always consider myself a little bit of a late bloomer because, you know, I didn't realize what was really essential until after I was in adulthood, you know, all I really cared about was, do I have food to eat? Do I have a place to lay my head and can I get around to where I need to get to? So those were the thing. Those were like the cornerstones of my life. As long as I could pay my rent and bills, had a refrigerator full of food, and I could move around how I wanted to move around, I, bro, I was like the happiest person in the world. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I wasn't looking at, uh, put this down here. I wasn't thinking about life insurance. I wasn't thinking about, you know, real estate. I wasn't thinking about traveling. Or I wasn't thinking about none of that. Just give me something to eat, a car, you know what I'm saying, a, mm-hmm. a, 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 a baddie, a baddie and, and, and a box of chocolate titans. That's all I cared about. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So, now that, you know, we're a little bit older now, a little bit more mature, you know, we, we know what we don't want anymore. You know, that's how you pretty much figure out what you want is by learning what you don't want. It's, right. it's, it's sad that it, that it happens like that, you know what I mean? But 
it's the reality for most of us. You know, we hard headed. We 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 super hard headed. You know, I mean, yeah. look at it. We 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 keep we keep giving, we keep giving, we keep giving, we keep giving to the same people that are trying to kill us. So yeah, we hard, we the we 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 the, we the hardest headed group on this on this planet, man. You know what I mean? So mm-hmm. you know what what steps can we take to, to to break that cycle? Well, I mean that's 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 really easy, homie. You don't stop being benevolent just because you got a group of people that hate you for your benevolence, right? You just you just you just up your God level. That's what you do. You know what I mean? How do we do that? We go back to the ancient practices. We 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 trace we trace our bloodlines and we find out what we ate. We find out what our what our rituals were. We find out who we worship. We find out what our day to day was, and then we apply that to to modern age now. Mm-hmm. It ain't hard. Once you figured out, once you figured out what you was doing, you know you know what to do now. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So. A lot of us, a lot of us, for various many reasons, just don't take that journey. Some of us don't have the time. Some of us don't have the resources. Some of us don't have the money. And for the most part, we don't have the access. You know what I mean? So we have to we have to recognize that these are our weaknesses and we have to work on turning them into strengths. So long as we're along that journey. You know, you got to identify the problem. If you don't recognize that you not knowing where you came from is a problem, then you, I mean, you just gonna you just gonna keep walking your walk. You know, yeah. hopefully, hopefully, you know, the ancestors, you know, will choose you, and the path that you naturally walk in is the ones that the ancestors chose for you. You know, right. that's that's how I feel my journey really was. You know, what I'm saying I I just kept walking my walk, and you know, one day I just got tapped on the shoulder and was like, "Look, dog, you you do you you doing you doing some of what we want you to do." But this is the rest of the spiel. This is what I need you to do. Mm-hmm. So here I am today, fashioning, fashioning these gemstones and crystals in the wearable jewelry. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like, you know, as a, as a master builder <clears throat> whose assignment is to create something to help the world, to heal mankind, this is this is this is why I'm at where I'm at right now. So there there might be something bigger that I that I end up building on a grand scale of things, you know. But until I get that clear vision from my uh, from my OGs, then this is where we going. This is where we gonna keep it bubbling, that baby. You know, yeah, what I'm saying? that's that that's that divinity. I mm-hmm. think as we start to look at more universal law, as we start to look at more of the spirit form, we realize. Us taking our path is educating other people who are mm-hmm. hesitating at the door. You know what I mean? And we're learning mm-hmm. the duality. I, I think fear is is that big first step. You know, yeah. one of my favorite sayings is like, you got to do it scared. Like, we all get mm-hmm. scared. We all yeah. have fear, but fear can't hold you back from what you try yeah. to do. And I think that's that step a lot of people are hesitating. You know, that double dust, they hesitating to jump in. Like, mm-hmm. they can't find a space. And it's because that fear will become paralyzing. You know what I mean? So now you're starting to get the fear of the knowing because once you're in the knowing, you can't go backwards. You have to right, know. Right. <laughs> once you, once you, woke, you can't it's go back to sleep. Now. They say, oh, yeah. my birthday, I know. You need to know every day. Shit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Off top. Off top. You know what I mean? And, you know, one of the one of the quotes that I read, I don't, I don't remember who said this, but they said, you know, success for the most part, is on the other side of the thing that you're the scaredest to do. Yep. Real talk. So, you know, use that fear as a tool. Yep. Because it's going to keep you alert. Mm-hmm. It's going to keep you cautious. You know what I'm saying? It's going to keep your head on a swivel. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, once you get to the point, it's, it's about emotional intelligence. You know what I'm saying? Fear, fear is definitely an emotion. And, you know, it can be used for good and it can be harmful as well. If, if 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 your fear is so crippling that it prevents you to move, then you need to address why that is and understand that even though you scared to death, move. You know what I'm saying? Don't let the don't the only person can stop you is you. You know what I mean? So once you get over yourself, I, yeah. I tell it to people every time. They be so mad when I say that. I don't understand. I be like, man, get over yourself. Yeah. It, it, it's the realest thing somebody can say to you. Like, bro, because 
you are stopping you from walking into the greatness that you were destined to be in. You know what I mean? So why, 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 why would you close the door on your own face? Yeah. You blocking your own blessings. And mm -hmm. I think that was another way our ancestors were connected with their ancestors. You know, mm -hmm. I find myself with time with days like that when I feel discouraged or I don't feel my best self, I become empowered just because I'm doing it for my kids. I'm doing it for mm -hmm. my ancestors. I'm doing it for my decisions. Mm -hmm. be, you know what I mean? It ain't, I take myself out of everything. I don't think yeah. like what I can gain from this. You know what I mean? If I go in a room like and I can take one, I'm trying to leave two or three. Like right. this humility, that grace allows us to actually be spiritual. That's the trade-off. Mm -hmm. That's the, you know, you can't have faith without work. Cause I see mm -hmm. a lot of spiritual people starting to do that now. You use a manifesting like prayer. And it's something completely different. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like in my heart of hearts, in my mind said, like if you ask the universe for a bunch of shit, you don't act on, you just look needy. You just look exactly. desperate. You know what I mean? Exactly. Like I try to do more and ask for less. Ask less, right. Real talk. I mean, that that's that that's what it boiled down to, man. Like, you know, it's 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 one thing to put in the work, you know what I'm saying? And it's another thing to have a handout. You know what I'm saying? When you when you get a handout, me personally, it makes you more prompt to fail. I agree. Because you know, look, okay, my my my, my credit right, you know what I'm saying? I can pretty much go anywhere and get a loan. All I got to do is pay it back. Right. So whether whether this thing pop or not, you know what I'm saying, I can cover it. But if you actually go out here and put in the groundwork and then everything come out your own esteem, you already telling yourself right there, this can't fail. This has to work. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't put my blood, sweat, and tears into this, and ain't nobody give me nothing. You know what I'm saying? And that's 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 where I'm coming from. Ain't nobody give me nothing. You know, people talk about, oh man, I I shut you down this, I shut you down that. Nah, bro, I'm self funded, cuz mm -hmm. this all came this all came from me. This all came out of my heart, out of my effort. You can't take that from me, bro. No matter what you do, only thing you can do is take my life. And then you take my life, you doing me a favor. I get to go home, dog. Yep. And I, you just made a martyr. So now people going to be upset. And change happens when people get upset enough. Oh, and, and, then, and then wait till I come back, bro, because my work ain't done. <laughs> wait till I come back. Right. You, you through. You through. You know what I'm saying? That's why I, I, I tell people all the time, like, man, when people slight you, man, this all you do. You go sit down, you talk to your ancestors, and you ask them to prepare you a better dish. Okay? That's all you do. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't want this person to suffer. The reason why they did right. me that is because they already suffering anyway. Right, right. Put them in a position of prosperity so that way they don't do this to another person. Right. When they say pray for your enemies, that's how you pray for your enemies. See what I'm saying? But there's there's a difference between praying for your external enemy or praying for an internal enemy. Because when we do us dirty, that's an internal enemy. They saw something in you that they see in them, and it made them react. Yep, because okay? they don't know how to deal with it with them. They don't have a relationship with they so. Mm -hmm. that's so, real. so, you know, ask, ask your ancestors. Man, your ancestors are going to look out for you every time. You know what I'm saying? That's why, you know, it always confused me when, you know, <clears throat> I even heard a pastor say that, you know, the the the, the Egyptian gods were were demigods and this, that, and the third. And you know, I, I remember getting thrown out to church that day, bro. <laughs> because I said, I said, then why do you say amen to end your prayer? Mm. He ain't had nothing to say. He just said, get out. <laughs> <laughs> he said, <laughs> he said, he said, I knew you was gonna cause trouble. You came in here with that big unk on your neck. I said, yeah, dog. I said, I came to shake shit up, man. That's the only reason I walk into church is to get that look. Like, oh, mm -hmm. man, about to bring up dinosaurs or something. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Give me a Real mic, somebody. <laughs> Real talk. So I'm just like, man, en enough, uh, enough. For me, enough has been enough, man. I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm just trying to elevate, not only myself, but bring as many people with me as I can. You know what I'm saying? And it's, and it's going. We're gonna do that. We're gonna do that through education. We're gonna do that through 
understanding our history. That's how we discover our true gifts and our true talents is by knowing what our ancestors have put forth so that way we can pick up the mantle and carry the torch farther than they ever imagined it. That's that's what we're here to do. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, anything, anything that's causing you to act anything outside of love, you tripping, bro. Yeah. Tripping. Yeah. Getting to know your roots will help you love yourself. That's what people don't get. You know, I, I always break it down for my mentees and my sons. Like, you got to think you are your ancestors' manifestation. Like, they, you were intentional. They needed you to be here with these abilities in this time to fight battles that they no longer fight. They no longer need to fight. They did their part. You know, like, Michelle Obama put it beautifully. She said, every era is going to have a revolution. Like, this isn't, this isn't a fad. This isn't something that's going to go away. Everyone's going to have something they're fighting to change. That's what keeps us so strong and so durable. You know what I mean? But where we're, you know, losing that fight is we're not fighting together. Everybody right. trying to be their own man, their own king, their own queen. And we're not trying to have a village. And we ain't trying to have royalty no more. You know what I mean? They, But they tainted it for us. That's why we have to release their history. Because they're tainting who we think we are. You know what I mean? And once we lock into who we are, like, that's the knowing. You'll never be able to unsee who you are again. At all. At all. And it, it, it's just like, you know, I was, tell, I was telling my guy, you know, he went through something real rough with his girl. I said, see, what happened was is you saw our true face. Yeah. And you saw our true face, you can't unsee it. Yeah. And so, you know, you know, I wish I had to listen to Nah, nah, it don't work like Man, that. Man, and that's how I know we be hurting. Because in a lot of that, in a lot of situations, the person's not even mad at what they did. They're mad that you did it to where I can see it, and now I can't unsee it. Why couldn't I just live in this ignorance is bliss? Why the hell you got to show me your true colors? Like, that's what I want to see up front. Day one, hour one, me meeting you. Like, show me your true. So the best benefit you can do for me is I know what I'm getting myself into. And if I, at any point, I feel like I'm being, you know what I mean, like, I'm being triggered. I'm being hostage mm -hmm. or one of these new ones. I tell people, cause you know, I love that you said emotional intelligence. That's something we need to learn. So one of these new ones, you know what I mean? Is emotional manipulation. Right. And That's when you're not in tune with your emotions, because I mean, maybe you went to public school and public school didn't teach you conflict resolution. It taught you problem solving, which <laughs> sounds similar, but these are two completely different things. Most of my homies was in jail just because they didn't have another option. That's yeah. conflict resolution. You know what I mean? Thinking like, damn, do I smack this motherfucker and walk away? If yeah. your only option is to smack people, you you gonna be smacking a lot of people. <laughs> so, you know what I mean? So through spirituality, I started to learn conflict resolution. And I realized I don't have a bad relationship with anyone. I never did. My relationships with everybody is a reflection of my relationship with myself. I was angry. I was upset that I allowed people to get over on me. I was upset that I allowed myself to love somebody and not get that love back. And mm -hmm. I had to learn to give myself grace. I had to learn to love myself unconditionally just because it's me. Just because I'm the only one that's going to have every minute, moment, idea, thought, heartbreak, triumph in my life. Like I'm going to experience all those things. So that has to mean something. You know what I mean? And I realized we had a lot to break away from. They got us real good with, uh, with Big Mama. And it's because a lot of them were devout Christians. They yeah. really lived by the word. So it was hard for us to not like it and then talk shit about Big Mama. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like you well, had to find your balance with it. You know what I mean? Next week, you got caught too, so. <laughs> <laughs> she used to straight me out of church. Like, hey, put your head. Is you sleep? I'm in there snoring. Like, what they talk about up there, Grandma? <laughs> This Man. sounds crazy. The pastor that told me I ain't going to heaven if I don't go to church. Is that true? I used to always ask her stuff like that. Is that true? She's <laughs> like, she give me that. She she don't want to say the wrong thing. So she like, well, no, oh. you just gotta you just gotta practice the word. You gotta follow the word. And I've always stuck with that part. The word, the word. So now that I have my throat chakra, now that I have my spirituality, you know what I mean. I've been studying Reiki lately. I'm about to start helping people with that type of meditation. Everything is the word. And the Bible says everything is the word. Right. You know, so it, it it instantly triggered. I had to reflect. I had to self-check, which I probably do a thousand times throughout the day. I had to self-check. And I had to look with even my kids, my relationships. Like, yo, how do you talk to them? How do you talk to yourself? How do you want people to talk to you? What energy, what reaction are you looking for by what you said? 
Right. You know what I mean? And I started humbling myself and realizing 95% of shit I say was I didn't need to say it was unnecessary. I just felt like I had to be in a conversation or I had you dig like and we yeah. do that as humans. We do it so much we don't realize we're doing it. So the best thing spirituality gave me is happiness. And to me, happiness is awareness. It's not good, bad, smile, sad, depression, not depressed. I'm yeah. aware of what state I'm in and I'm fine with that. Mm -hmm. And that's and that's a beautiful thing. Like I know, you know, you, you was you was touching on touching on the chakras. I know yeah. one of the biggest things for us as a as a whole is our root chakra. You can't find nothing without that root chakra unblocked. That's where all our trauma lies. And how many of us is completely unaware of the trauma? I mean, you got to think about this, too, because it ain't just your trauma. It's generational trauma that's all trapped up in your root chakra. I tell people this all the time. 85% of the distress that you're dealing with is not even your own. At all. You could, you could be picking up on somebody in... West India, you could be picking up on somebody in China. Like we're we're very empathetic, and 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 our empathetic levels are, especially like me and you with with, with these. Yeah, the antennas. Yeah, start with it, bro. We probably picking we probably picking up polar bears in Antarctica, freezing. You know what I'm saying? Like it, bro. Yeah. It's it's crazy because you 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 are divinely connected with everything past, present, and future. So it's it's. It get hard to decipher what you're dealing with, but you know you you, you got to deal with it. And you know what's crazy? The easiest way to unblock your root chakra: mm -hmm. go back into the jungle, go back into nature, get grounded. Ain't that ironic? Yeah. That this, this is where we came from. This is where we this is where we used to be at the in end the, of the beginning. In the tree. So, you know, our, our, our biggest thing is because see the, the, the architects, the architects are smart. Yeah. All we got to do to disconnect this natural man from the earth is give him shoes with rubber bottoms. Yeah. Back in the day, what kind of shoes did we wear? They was leather. Mm hmm. Leather also is an organic and living material. Even though the cow is dead or whatever, whatever they made the leather out of is dead, it was it, it was alive, past it's present. Still a conductor, yeah. So, it's going off muscle memory. It's still going to transfer energy because that's all it knows to do. So, so just in that nation alone, this 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 is what went down. You know what I mean? So, you know, we gotta we gotta recognize that you gotta release all of that. Going in yeah. nature, why do you feel so good after you come back from the park? Why do you feel so? You just, you just, you just climb a tree. You call me a tree hugger all you want, so I walk up there. I'm gonna hug, I kid. Love it. You know what I'm saying? Love it. Yeah. And you hit a, you hit a huge point. This is something I've been fighting in psychology for years. A lot of people really don't believe your mental stability. You know what I mean? Or your mental instability could be what's causing your physical pain too exactly. or you're downloading you know what i mean like i tell people all the time this shit used to scare the hell out of me <laughs> when i was like adolescence a teenager you know what i mean like when i used to shower and shit i did not like i didn't like the hot water hit my back like it was the equivalent i would assume like of somebody getting whipped like it's like a sting you feel me and at that time that's what i was learning about like i was trying to tap in to what our ancestors did in slavery because they wasn't slaves they still had full lives they still had spiritual practices they had friendships they had marriages i don't like to classify somebody as a job or what they do for a living that's not who you are so i was trying to figure out what type of games did they play how did they learn how did they communicate with each other you know what i mean and that's the universe i, I always tell people like it's some rumple still skin shit like you got to be careful what you asking for because you don't know how it's going to come back mm -hmm. i don't so i believe in duality so i don't have words that i think are good or bad so if you asking for something you can't just be thinking oh this is gonna be good this going you don't you could be giving that to your enemy to use against you <laughs> you know what i mean this is why i don't accept prayer i don't know where it's from you could be praying for my downfall like i don't know what you praying for <laughs> i ain't about to bless that. <laughs> yeah. and that and that's where that's where a lot of the generational curses really happened man because you know the power of life and death is on the tongue so you know 
you it it could be something simple as you know you at the you at your family reunion you know what I'm saying you do something you weren't supposed to be and your auntie be like that's why you ain't gonna be shit when you grow up yeah Nick, curse. that's literally a curse yeah. so you know that's why it's, it, it, it's so important to watch what you say and 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 be even more careful of the energy that you put into the universe because all of that shit coming back to you at least threefold bro you know what I'm saying. I got, I got, I got people. I got people in my life right now. I, I can, I, I can feel them casting spells on me, bro. They don't, they don't have no idea that I know this, but I know exactly who's doing it. I know exactly when it's happening, and ain't none of that shit gonna work, bro. Because my ancestors got me, dog. So you know, it. I, I honestly, for real, for real, since you've been on your spiritual journey, name me one person that did that did you wrong that's doing well now. Oh, nobody. Exactly. Nobody. How it works when you, when you start when you start moving in your calling you start walking in your purpose, bro. That's when the only person can stop you is you really becomes true and 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 relevant because you know you can you can do all the bullshit that you was doing back in the day and that, that's cool cool. The ancestors understand you had to do some dumb shit to get smart. Yes, and so they know they know it's a part of the process. You know what I'm saying? But if you out here and you make a life of doing people dirty. And stepping on toes and, and and dimming other people's light, thinking yours is gonna shine bright. Oh, they gonna get your ass, dog. Mm-hmm. They gonna so you know that's what that's why I'm pressed. You know, what I'm saying one of the one of the one of the main crystals I I use of that. You know, when, when I feel like I'm being psychically attacked is you know between your tourmaline and your obsidian. Love tourmaline. The, the tourmaline is, is 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 one of the most powerful protective stones that there is, and then your obsidian it it it, it blocks psychic attacks from you because. People really, even if on a small scale, they they do things to piss you off to get a reaction. You know, try to throw you off your game. You know, what I'm saying and that and that's enough for them. Other people do things that try to cause cataclysmic disaster in your life. You know, what I'm saying like I had a I had an ex that bro, she was doing spell work, bro, trying to block my money, trying to block my progression, trying to block everything that I was doing because she knew it was going to move me further away from her. But look at me now, bro, I'm popping up everywhere. But you bought that pyramid everywhere, bro. You know, just 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 in spite of it, because the ancestors know I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. And long as you keep doing that, you're all you're always gonna be protected. Yeah, it ain't gonna be it ain't gonna be all peaches and cream every single day. You are gonna have your downtime. That's when you do your shadow work. You know what I'm saying? I had to, I had to teach myself how to stop doing um certain aspects of shadow work during these retrogrades because it was working against me. And I and. I, I thought the spells was working. No, I was really spelling myself. So yeah. that another thing you could do, you could you could you could cast against yourself and not even know that's what you're doing. So you know your 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 word your word is powerful is is extremely powerful and and your your work and your actions is even more powerful than that. So you know if you want to protect yourself, protect others. You want to keep yourself guarded, guard others. The universe is going to respond to you in your true nature. The universe ain't going to respond to who you pretend to be or who you even want to be. It's going to respond to your true nature. If it's meant for you, then it's going to be yours. If it ain't meant for you, then it's going to go to somebody else. But, you know, the the the, be- the best thing you can do for yourself, honestly, is remain in an environment of being grateful mm. for the opportunity grateful for the air grateful for the people that you come across grateful for the good experiences even grateful for the bad experiences mm-hmm. you know it's every 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 breath is a blessing you know and it's it's, it's it's so many things that we take for granted you know just being able to is a blessing bro so many mm-hmm. so many can't do that no more you know what I'm saying being able to go out here and interact and 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 have the opportunity to, to really touch people's souls and, and reach people's hearts you know through your due diligence, you know what I'm saying, through your grace is a blessing, you know what I mean? Being able to shed light in dark corners, that is a blessing, that is a gift. You know, we're all multifaceted individuals, meaning, you know, we're not just good at one thing, we good at anything we set our mind to. Yeah. It's, it's, it's like that. It's like that for everybody, you know what I'm saying? I just wish more of us would tap in. It'd it make this place so much better, you know what I mean? So, you know, honestly, to be to be completely honest with you, you know, it takes three times the energy to act negatively than it does to react positively. Mm. So in essence, anytime you have a negative reaction or you commit a negative action, you're basically going against the grain. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. You're draining three times as much energy to do that than to go straight forward. You know, why why keep flying through storms when your wings were designed to carry you above it? Right. You know, quit, quit, quit. You were you were you were eagle with duck mentality, dog. Stop, stop, stop doing that. Stop, stop cutting. Stop selling yourself short. You know what I'm saying? Stop cutting your gift off. You know what I'm saying? Live, live, live for the full experience. Be in the moment. Stop and smell the roses. How many times have you heard that in your life and you never listen? Stop and smell the buzz. Some of them actually really smell good. And honestly, smelling the nectar of a flower boosts your immune system. Mm. It boosts your attitude. It boosts your IQ. Just just partaking in nature. There, there's nothing but benefits to partaking in it. So why do we not take time to experience this? We just walk by it and take it for granted every day and then wonder why we're suffering on the other hand. Mm-hmm. Come the, 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 the simplest thing, the simplest thing can have the greatest outcome. So like I always use this. So you you take you take this right here, right? And you just do that. The simplest thing. But it's the greatest outcome. With this, I can write something that can nurture the entire world. With this, I can build something that makes life easier for the next family. With this, I can cook and create something that nourishes myself, my family, or anybody else I give it to. You know what I'm saying? It th- This right here creates gifts that keep on giving. Just that simple motion right there. You know what I'm saying? That's why that's why I'm in love with the butterfly effect. And one of my one of my favorite, one of my favorite mathematical designs is the Fibonacci sequence. Or the mm. That's why you see that in my logo. Because it's everything, bro. Everything is math, man. We ain't we ain't nothing but life is just one big equation that you just gonna have to simplify for you to get it, to get the answer right. You know what I'm saying? That's all it is, man. It's, 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 it's math. It's math. It's energy. It's vibration. You know what I'm saying? It's music. You know, as you move into the beat of your own drum or you move into the beat of somebody else's. Right. Is your head nodding while you're doing it or you just going through the motions? Stop going through the motions. Yeah. And hear everything. Hear the percussion. Hear the strings. Hear everything. Feel all the vibration. Take it in. Eat it. It's there for you. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's not there to work against you. It's there for you to use for yourself. Set the tone of your own life. Power. That That's true. powerful, man. This whole conversation has been enlightening. Um, they're going to have to watch this about 10 times to get all this information. This was a, <laughs> it's a lifetime's worth of knowledge right here, man. I, I This was a blessing, man. I appreciate it. You know, I, I always run across these big spheres, and I know I'm like, we sit down, it's going to be a dynamic conversation. Up, real talk, man. I, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely grateful for you taking the time out, man. For real, for real, man. Being able to connect like that, you know, what I'm saying it don't, it, it don't necessarily happen every day like that, you know, what I'm saying. So, I take, I take pride and pleasure in being able to sit down and, and, and talk to my folks and really just, really just speak from the heart, man. Because without that, I mean, you, you just gonna go crazy, dog. So, yeah. I take, I definitely, it's been my pleasure, man. For yes, real. Sir. Yes, sir. Is there anything you want to leave the people with? Any words of wisdom? Any game? Man, listen. Live life to the fullest, man. Love love others as like they yourself. You know what I'm saying? This is coming from a son of man. You know what I'm saying? This is all it is out here. Love. Spread love. That's all we need. Love one another. Take the, take the, take the time. Have a, have a real conversation with somebody. Be somebody you don't even know. You know what I'm saying? Ask them how they doing. Ask, ask them if there's anything you can do to help, man. You know what I'm saying? That's that's one thing we slack on. We, we, we're not doing our arms like we're supposed to. You know what I'm saying? And I, they caught me slipping. I'm out here doing volunteer work, canvassing, canvassing neighborhoods, you know what I'm saying? Trying to let people know about benefits and, and, and programs that, that's going on that a lot of us probably didn't even know what's going on. You know, that's what it's about, man. Getting people, getting people to the help that they need. That's what my business is about getting people the help that they need. That's what my life is about, getting people the help that they need. I'm just a plug, plug in the plug, bro. Yes, you know what I'm saying? And my 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 main focus is to make sure we all have power. Let's light up. Let's light up, man. But like I said, man, 
This is this is me. This is what it is. Everything about my life is designed to help. You know what I'm saying? So take advantage of it while I'm here, man. You know, so I don't need the roses. I am the rose. I'm the rose that grew from the concrete. Mm -hmm. So just come tap, come tap in with us, man, because it's it's so much more in store. You know, this, we ain't even we ain't even touched the tip of the iceberg. You know what I'm saying? But you no, know, once again, man, it's Paragon Designs LLC, man. Austin B, the man, the, the, the man that had a plan and didn't even know he had a plan. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, like I said, it's all love over here, man. That's all you're going to get from me, though. You know what I'm saying? You coming with anything else, I got something for that, too, man. I'm going to just love you through it. Yeah. Point blank, period, man. That's powerful, man. Well, you be blessed. You enjoy the rest of your day, the rest of your life. Everything you touch is going to be great. Thank you, brother. Sure, you too, family, man. Hey, stay up, man. Stay blessed, man. I'll get that energy right back to you, man. Stay stay up. Stay positive, man. Till we meet again, man. Look, we going to keep it golden. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, brother. More love. Thanks.